Okay, so when you turn 16 and, well, most people 18, but for me it was 16, and leave home, you know, parents usually save your room, keep it as a memorial to you living with them with their little pictures and your blanket and a teddy bear. There's always got to be a teddy bear. Not my mom. The joys of her sewing room. We're in a love-hate relationship with how much sewing stuff she has. But I love it because I can always come in and go shopping for exactly what I need. It's like climbing Mount Everest. And look, about here I think is what we're looking for. Okay, so we got elastic. I was hoping it was black, but this will do. And remember guys, we are staying on a strict no buy anything budget. So here's hoping that mom's got some Velcro in here. If not, well, we'll have to make do with what we got. Ooh, here's some thinner elastic. That uh, might do us some good for something. And if she doesn't have Velcro, then I know she should have the little silver clips that you usually find on the back of dresses. everybody so we're great who knew taking a break could be so productive all right everybody now that we're done with our drinking break let's just take a minute to take in some of this beautiful country air it's so nice out I'm 
and feel free to always leave a little extra. It's better to have a little extra than not enough. Okay, now we have the tab with your first string here. It's about an arm length, two arm lengths, not folded in half. it using the current string that you got fold it in half at the end and bring it back down like I said cut a little extra better to have enough than not enough This tab right here, it's a little sharp, so be careful not to cut your string while tightening it. It shouldn't, it's not that sharp. All right, nice and strong and ready to go. All right, so it looks like we're probably gonna have to do. Okay, everybody, I needed the phone for this next part, so I really couldn't video it very well. So what I did is I put the phone, I put the uh, tab behind the clippy. And on this one, I really like it because it has this piece of wire to where it can create a kickstand effect. And it also helps secure this soda tab in here. So I wrapped the wire or the string around the front of the phone case and I put the phone in to secure it and make sure I was going to get proper length out of what I needed. And now I can just flip it over when I want it and it'll come right off. When I don't, and it sits like this and when the phone is in the case it secures it properly so be sure the phone is in this before you mount it in the car because it probably will not be as stable without the phone in it and it might you might lose your phone carrier or your phone kickstand just so you're aware okay now that we have these knots tied pretty much all we did was come to the end wrap it around, pull it through like this, and pulled it tight to create your knot as tight as we could. And then you have your knot here. So now, instead of putting that latch on, this string is really heavy duty and when you tie it in a knot, it tends to stay really well. So I'm comfortable with tying it in the knot behind my the headrest and it not flying away because it's going to be secured at two other points if you're you don't feel so safe um flip this end over like this to where you now have four pieces of string and a loop at the top and you'll create a knot right here pull it nice and tight I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna just keep mine sweet and simple and do the same thing on the other side but before you 
go ahead and tighten a knot. Cut this piece off your dog leash and go ahead and slide it onto your strings here and then tie the knot. And now you have a little hook on the end of your string that you can use and you should have a loop on the other side with a knot right here that you can clip it to. I might actually come back and do this to mine later, but right now I feel comfortable just tying the GoPro in a knot and not having to worry about it. Okay, so I could not find the wire dikes, so I just bent this piece multiple times until it came off, making it as straight as possible. And I took this piece, and now I'm bending it over to create a loop here. I'm just using this to press down on it, keep from hurting my fingers. And now we have it pressed down really well. And now we have a piece of metal that's ready to go. Now keep in mind this is an old piece of metal so after use so many times it is prone to break eventually. It is just keeping it from flopping around creating more of a stability feature with your video camera, your phone, or your GoPro your DIY GoPro. So later on down the road you might want to think about replacing this piece of metal with something a little bit more stable or functional later on down the road. Now we have our elastic. Take our stabilizer. Put it through and just tie it in a knot. So we're probably gonna have to cut some of this excess off so we can tie it in a knot properly. Just come around and That way you don't have to take a needle and thread and stitch it or anything. Now I've been playing with that piece of metal so I have rust on my fingers and it's transferring over to the elastic. That's kind of why it looks dirty. There we are. Now we will take and Put a second loop on the other end. This way this piece can be detachable. And you can go back in later and untie this knot and shorten it or lengthen it wherever you need it. And it is now ready to go. Now for the other side, we're going to do the same thing, but instead of adding a piece of wire, we're just going to create a big loop to wrap around the headrest. Now each headrest is different, so you're probably going to have to actually physically go up and measure it. Yeah. 
it probably does scoot back, so. <laughs> more jimmy rigged than I would have expected but this is pretty much what I was talking about and I folded it over on the back side to make sure that for some reason if this came loose that it would still be attached to this and it give you some sort of security I wrapped it around the headrest and I tied it around the middle it ended up giving it a lot more support just from the one side and of course the red ribbon that goes around the main portion was tied around back right here underneath and actually ended up working out perfect. Now let's test this thing out, see how it works. So we encountered one small problem. These uh, red strings are so long. Of course, I'm sure you noticed that they end up flashing into the line of view with the camera and that you could see them when I was driving down the road. So I'm just gonna fold them over in half because we want to keep this length. And I did a half loop knot on the elastic so I can untie it easier. So let's just go ahead and stick them through that loop. Here. Just like that. Oh, we have one little dude who wants to get in the way. And let's just tighten that. And that just solved our problem. You can also get a zip tie from your loaf of bread that will work too. Trying to pull out this piece of elastic so I can tuck that, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. So we're gonna cut this other one because I left it long for the trip in case I had to adjust it. So we'll just take these two pull them around front here and tuck them in this gap we were on the front I'll show you okay we have this gap right here so I just tucked them into this gap and pulled them around to this side right here and folded them into start tucked them in there and folded them down and pulled them back around here and that will hopefully keep your strings secure for the trip. 